Hey everybody, Adam Kogush here in Gardenia, my property in the mountains in Arizona. Just coming out hanging out with our fur babies and while we were walking around, saw a vehicle approach through a road to our back gate and uh, met these three individuals who agreed to be filmed claiming to be FBI agents. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for at least agreeing to be recorded for this. Uh, and uh, appreciate that. Do you mind? Do you mind showing your face, sir? If you're gonna show ID and uh, you saw my ID. I mean, okay. got COVID and stuff. Would, so. would you mind? Do you mind showing your ID for the camera here, for the record? Uh, you've already seen our ID, sir. I know, I know. That's what I'm saying. For the record, for the camera here. Uh, well, you've already seen it, so we've shown it to you. So you're not willing to show your ID on camera? Well, Is that like we saying? showed it to you. I'm not I'm, gonna. I'm play asking your you to show it for the here. camera. If you're denying me that, you know what? I'll do that for you. That's fine, but I. Do you mind getting a close up here? And no, you can't do that. So you're just, so can I just get a close up and with my eyes actually sure. see your name and face and with my ID? I'm so pretty dirty. <laughs> All right, so Trevor Colbert, special agent. Yes. Okay. And and y'all? Well, again, yeah. you've already seen their IDs. Well, Flash, uh, very, very briefly. Well, no, he showed you his. Don't no. worry, they're not as vicious as they were. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's Thelma and Louise in Maryland. So he, he had a question so, regarding some of the stuff. So my question to you, sir, is right. is this you in this photograph by chance? So I hope y'all appreciate this is as ridiculous as my audience does. This sounds like a prank. I'm still not convinced that you're FBI agents from okay. that, just so you know. Like, this is just too funny. You're showing me a picture of someone at the Capitol riot of Ju of January 6th of this year. Yes. And it's a picture from Slate.com because it's a dude with a beard who looks vaguely like me that says, Trump is my president on his t-shirt. No, I don't think it's you. I, I am not now, nor have I ever been a Trump supporter. I did a show here. I, I was actually, um, I, we've covered this extensively, but uh, I, I was actually uh, nowhere near DC on I January so. 6th. There's, I, I mean, I, are you guys just here as FBI just checking a box on some ridiculous, huge administrative thing that you just got to like, someone said this might be Adam, so you got to come ask him in person and do that? Is that I was is that told really? that this person was you. Yeah, and by again, an online rumor. I didn't think it was you. Okay. But because we had the photograph, I had to come out and confirm it with you that it was in fact not. So because a rumor and a political activist looks vaguely like another political activist. And this is this is a friendly, this is the extent of your visit and questions for me at this point. Yes, for me, yes. Wow. Crazy, huh? Wow. Yeah. Crazy. No, I mean, alive. Anything, anything else you guys can share with me, you know, on the record, off the record, about your thoughts about this would be very much appreciated. So um, I don't have any thoughts on it. Just following up on what someone said. Because so. you got to check a box of ex an extensive investigation or something like that. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Well, so are you, are you, where are you all stationed? Out of Phoenix. Phoenix. So Phoenix FBI Field Office? Yep. And they, they, you have nothing to do with the bigger investigation. They just called you to to follow these leads up here in Arizona. Yeah, because everything sure. happened back in D.C. So right on. Okay, goes all around the country. Well, I hope you enjoyed the drive out here. At least it was a pretty drive, huh? Mm -hmm. Probably the hardest uh, logistically to find for a silly question like this. Yeah. Yeah. And again, we tried to reach you telephonically. Uh, yeah. Well, in in the few, well, you you're not allowed to text message. I take it then, because my voicemail says text me. Right. You had. How did you get my number? Uh, I don't know how they got your number. The FBI has my number. It's okay. <laughs> I would I would expect no less. Um, but yeah, don't be afraid of. Uh, the, 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 I know, I know that uh, three socks here it can can be a very deadly shoulder mounted assault kitten. But um, here in Gardenia territory, that's legal. I don't know about the rest of those. <laughs> hey, actually, while we're up here, though, we we're looking Ooh. for. Oh man, they, these wow. cats. These are. These are the scorpion cats. cats of Gardenia. We have a video of, of the mother, the matriarch of this family, catching and eating a scorpion alive out here. Oh boy. But sorry, you were saying you were thinking. No, no, we were looking for someone else that uh, we were told's out this way, uh, Ed Vallejo, a buddy of yours. He's up he here. is here. 
actually. Have just as ridiculous question to ask him too. Yeah. Um, I'll go get Ed. Why don't, well, uh, let's see. Why don't we just holler for him so we can just okay. stay here and keep recording. Hey, Ed, can you hear me?